Hi, this is Arnav. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the future of the internet powered by blockchain. So blockchain technology has been in the news recently mainly because of Bitcoin, Ethereum, ICOs and other projects taking place. What this has actually led to is a lot of speculative and bubble-like behavior around projects uh, built on top of blockchain. Despite that, there are going to be a lot of positive uh, projects that, that are going to come out and a lot of positive changes because of blockchain. One such change would be actually how blockchain will transform and change the internet for the better. So if we consider the current uh, blockchains, the internet stack, the whole internet is actually built on top of uh, basic protocols like HTTP, TCP IP and uh, SMTP protocols. And these protocols have created immeasurable amount of value. So if we consider the current stock market like the NASDAQ, um, most of the top companies are tech companies. So these protocols have created so much value, but most of the value actually got captured on the application layer, um, mostly in the form of data. So we have these big, big tech companies like Google, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Netflix, Apple, who have captured this value. So what we have currently is an internet in which the if, if, we, if we plot the value captured, we find that the application layer will be very much fatter than the protocol layer. But the thing is, whenever these companies had to scale up to reach millions of users, they had to invent a lot in the protocol layer, um, like Google had MapReduce. So what this means is a normal company like a startup, when it has to scale uh, to a lot of or users like millions and billions of users, it would find it very difficult to compete with these big companies because they have so many resources and so much talent. This has led to uh, the innovations around internet uh, relatively slowing down and especially in the protocol layer and uh, it has actually made the internet quite centralized in which few companies, maybe 20-30 companies, have access to a lot of data and hence a lot of power because in the new digital realm, data is power. So that is the current state of the internet. But if we consider what blockchain promises and the state of the internet that blockchain promises, what we find is that the relationship between protocol layer and application layer might reverse. So like in the case of blockchain, what we'll have is an application layer will be very much thinner than the protocol layer. We'll have a fatter protocol layer. And this is actually evident in the case of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Currently, the whole value of the tokens in supply of Bitcoin is around $100 billion and the total value of Ethereum in supply is around $30 billion. And the total value of all the projects uh, built on top of Ethereum, which is actually a platform to build other decentralized projects, um, would be uh, in early billions. Like, I don't, th I don't think so it will be greater than 5 to $6 billion. And mostly, most projects are in hundreds of millions of dollars, like the best ones. And so I'll try to explain why this is going to happen, why protocol layer uh, will become bigger than the application layer and how this is going to be good for the internet and hence the world. So <clears throat> the thing is, there are two reasons why uh, the protocol layer is going to get bigger. The first one will, will be that we will have a shared data layer and the second one will be the existence of an access token, which is usually uh, limited in supply. So uh, the first point is a shared data layer. So shared data layer means that everyone has access to all the data and all the innovations and everything that is happening on the uh, protocol or the network. So in, say in the case of Ethereum, everyone has access to all the smart contracts and everything that is happening on the public blockchain. What this means is um, that there, there, are, there is an equal competition um, and most people like can build services on top and they have equal um, access to every resource. So it's actually very easy to shift from a normal a crypto exchange, like say from Polyonex to Bitrex. And uh, so because it's because actually both all exchanges have access to the same Bitcoin blockchain and they have to innovate on top of the basic protocol and the Bitcoin blockchain. So that is the reason why this is going to be good. Sen then the second point, as mentioned before, was the existence of an access token. So the thing is, um, an access token, the initial users who actually take part in the network have incentive to actually grow the network. So say um, I built a token and I get some people or get some friends to buy the token, 
they would automatically become my evangelizers and they would actually promote my token and they would actually try to use and build products and services on top so and say they start now building products and services on top this will in turn attract more users and which will uh, even increase the speculation of my token further and hence people might buy into it more and since it will attract more users there are going to be new entrepreneurs and developers uh, and VCs that will buy into the whole uh, vision and this will uh, further drive the price and so say we have Ethereum whenever we see that a project like say Augur is built on top or Genesis is built on top of Ethereum and we hear so many other projects the whole speculation around the Ethereum as a plot platform will increase so we might hear about a project from ten, two places or ten places but from for about Ethereum we will hear about ten places from maybe hundred places so that is why uh, the access token actually makes the whole value of the protocol actually exceed the value of the applications <coughs> and uh, this would what this means is actually something which has been mentioned uh, in this piece as well which is that um, the whole system uh, yeah this piece, this one that the market cap of the protocol always grows faster than the combined value of the applications built on top since the success of the application layer drives the further speculation of the protocol layer and this is actually quite true and uh, these are actually the two reasons why um, the protocol layer will be fatter than the application layer and why this will be good is um, there, I think it, is, it, would be good because, it would be good because it will change the definition of big success so in the current world what big success is mean, means is a winner takes all market so Google was successful because it was able to kill off competition in search and it was able to like innovate and like uh, have some internal secrets of how to best operate search but in the new scenario what the protocol layer since the pro value will be more at the protocol layer the more ambitious founders would target the protocol layer than the application layer and in the protocol layer in order to succeed what you would have to do is you would have to provide a platform in which other um, applications or services benefit and other entrepreneurs be benefit so you would you would need to innovate a lot and you would need to be as open as possible so um, this would be actually uh, very good and um, what I, and what i see is will be the future is that uh, we will have traditional businesses and applications built on top of the protocol layer and they will be more like normal businesses like ge revenue generating businesses they would need to be profitable but most of the value will be at the protocol layer and how people at the protocol layer will become rich or earn money is by getting some tokens or maybe pre-mining some tokens initially so and mm, so if the value of the token increases with time which it surely will if the adoption and the speculation around the protocol increases their net worth will also increase with time and maybe they can sell their tokens and become rich so that is how the future of the internet is going to pan out and these are very exciting times to be part of this um, whole revolution and uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you want to do something big you should be building a protocol right now not an application um, layer maybe on top of ethereum so you might be building a protocol for hiring, you might be building a protocol for search. There are so many possibilities that have opened up. So yeah, um, please like the video if you learned something and comment if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for further videos on Bitcoin, Blockchain, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. Yeah, bye-bye.